Hi, Morgan with Event Answer here. And recently I've been putting together a lot of balloon projects and plan to do quite a few more in the coming weeks. Um, so I decided to go ahead and build myself a balloon sizer box. One of the key elements to making really good balloon pillars and balloon projects is having a consistent way to size your balloons. And one way to do that is to make a sizer. So this has lots of common balloon sizes cut into this moving box. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this and I'll have plans linked below so that you can make one for yourself and your balloon projects as well. So let's get right into it and I'll show you how I did it. My sizer is made from a 14 inch moving box that I picked up at my local hardware store and I'm going to be cutting circles into four sides of this for the balloons but I won't be cutting into the flaps. That's so that I can set up this box, use it, and then flatten it again for easy storage. I'm also using a permanent marker, a pencil, an X-Acto blade, and a tape measure. I've also prepared some digital plans that you can use below that has some templates as well as written instructions so that you can make the exact same one that I am with the same measurements. I've also collected a bunch of household items that I can use to trace my size circles on my boxes. You can also use a compass if you like, but I find this super easy. I'm ready to start laying out my circles. So first I fold up the flaps so I can tell where the edge of the box is and then set my pieces in at least one inch from the edge of the box and one inch away from the next item. So there's plenty of supportive cardboard. I then lay everything out in the pattern following my diagram and I'm gonna trace that with either my pencil or the permanent marker. Um, just be careful with the permanent marker because it will stain whatever you trace around. Once all the circles are drawn onto the box on all four sides, it's then time to start cutting them out. Now I use an X-Acto blade, but you can also use a box cutter, and I'm putting a small cutting mat underneath the box, the layer that I'm on, so that I don't accidentally cut through both layers of cardboard and mess up the other side of my box. It's important to cut with as much precision as possible because if the circles aren't totally round and there's maybe a flat side, that will affect the size of the balloon. So try and be as accurate as possible and then pop all those circles out and we're ready to start labeling them. So it's hard to tell exactly how big a size is without a label on it. So I just used a Sharpie here to label each and every circle so I knew how big it was. And this project is as easy as that. I just fold up the flaps and lock them in place on both sides, and this is ready for some balloons. Now this will go from two inches to 10 inches in size and with a couple half inch uh, circles in place, but just blow up your balloon to oversize and then release the air until it fits in the circle and you know you've sized it correctly. And once you're done with this, you can fold it up flat and store it away. I'm always excited when a simple tool like this saves me time and energy when I'm planning parties and building projects. And I hope that this helps your planning party process. Something as simple as this can be done with any kind of cardboard box or out of lots of different materials. Um, so I hope that you'll try give this a try and it helps you out in your planning process. If you'd like the plans, I'll have them linked below. Um, and so feel free to check those out and print them to make this for yourself. I also wanna encourage you to embellish this and make it how you want it to look. I've just added some lines here to make the circles easier to see, but you could absolutely do vinyl stickers, you could do um, all kinds of marker and drawings along here, you could paint it, so do whatever helps you accomplish your goals when you're doing your balloon projects. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. I've got a lot of fun things planned for this month, so I'll look forward to seeing you then. Bye!